So went went for a wee jaunt with work, went for a wee overnight stay down in Sunny Barrow this week. Um, it's actually I didn't realise it was so close to the Lake District. All right, cool. I was tempted to pop in. Our our mother is down in the Lake District. Aye. And I was tempted to just go. Oh, I'll just pop in, say hello. Like maybe honest, honestly about maybe ten miles from Lake Windermere. All right, all right. So could I just jump back that way? But um, then it's fuck all in Barrow by comparison. Um, went down to see the submarine base and uh, do some worky work but honestly they've not benefited it seems from this multi-billion dollar submarine operation the town of Barrow itself is rough as fuck is it? a uh, lot of boarded up windows and mm. you know smashed up buildings so did they, did they build a submarine building gaff place mm-hmm in Barrow. Yeah, it's, it's right really... thought, like, this will create jobs and... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I know, arguably yeah. it's created jobs, but it's a lot of contractor jobs. It's a lot of people coming from other places to Barrow. Yeah, so it's done mm, very little for the actual, like, place. And that's... The, you could argue it's the same thing up in Glasgow. We've got a similar issue. I think you can jump across it. Maybe I can. I can double jump, but I... Um... Aye, and, and that's that's a big problem, I think. You know, you try and promote um, industry. Ooh. Ooh. Aye, you can jump across that. Right, sweet. Um, aye, you know, you try and promote, like, industry to support, you know, houses and mm-hmm. whatever else. I tell you, Witherspoons was jumping. Right. That's where we went for dinner. Well, the boozer's always going to be jumping. It was a, aye, but come on, man. Local boozer. It was like the only place in Barrow that seemed to have anybody in it. And I know it was like a Monday... Well, it was, it was Monday night we went. Um, but come on, seriously, is that it? Is that all there is on offer? Can you jump up? Yeah. I'll jump up. Um, and they've just been they've just been awarded like another... Oh, shit. oh, I can jump, I've got a double jump. And they've, they've just been like contracted for another like billion dollars or whatever mm. to um, build the next kind of load of subs or whatever the fuck why can't I get up here can I do something for you aye that's what it is right because I thought you had not need Riddler for that but that wee bit sense. sexist just jiggle your hips and that's it to just open the door to the police station yeah, it's charming so aye back, back to Barrow there was nothing really nothing really down there but uh, there's a bit of a kind of Feud's probably not the right one, but competition, friendly competition between naval ships and submarines. Right. Yeah. Where um, they think they're better than us just because they got all the money and then they've got all the good equipment and, you know, mm-hmm. they can only use, like, like UK-based personnel, so they've got tighter regulatory requirements. And, uh, I mean, the, the, the sad reality is they are better than us. It's just we're not prepared to let them admit it. And our boats are kind of classified as submarine killers, so we're sort of like talking smack with them, like, you know, fucking come down to Glasgow, mate. Why know? are they? Why would they be submarine killers? Which well, that's what the boat's designed for. Um, the boat's got all the sensing equipment and torpedoes and shit to take down submarines. That's kind of its whole deal. Well, like, in a fight? Huh? That's, that's why we built them. Right, let's jump across. So, all green... And then across. Ah, no, we just need to hit them at the yeah, right one. Yeah, just what are we sitting on? Um, so, there you go. Um, so, I we're like, one, what the fuck? Get you in a fight. Smash our back doors in. Square go. Exactly. Just because you got all the money and all the, like, tools and equipment right. doesn't mean your submarine's better than us. Right, because our, our... Oh, fuck's sake, some shot me. Did you know that there's more um, planes in the sea than submarines in the sky? Yes. <laughs> You've made that joke before. <laughs> Possibly not on this, but I have heard that, yes. It's not even a it's, joke. It's, it's a good bad. one. Yeah, aye, it's a good one. I like it. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, I did, so one of the things as well they were saying, we're talking, talking about the Ukraine, Ukraine war with Russia. First of all, it's good for us for business, because apparently the American chief counsel or whatever mm-hmm. um, 
reckons that this is this war's just getting started. He's, oh. he's like, this is gonna be a ten year fucking land dispute. He's like, this this war's not going anywhere. So settle in. This is gonna be a longy, which is good for us in the sort of military and whatever industry, because you know, it means money. But obviously, it means that I uh, shit for everything else, because it's like you know we still have to pay bills and shit. And if these countries are at war, then your lecky and gas bills aren't getting any cheaper, I'll tell you that for free. Not in the next ten years, at least. Can I go in here? And, you know, people will, like, die and shit. Nah, it's... But who cares about that? Nah, it's secondary. I want cheap bills. But I want cheap bills too, but I don't want Putin to be blowing folk up. No, exactly. And that's the, that's the concerning thing, is the numbers involved in the war. Already? Exactly. Well, actually, that's been a year, has it not? No, that's what I'm well, saying. I say already, but it's like... They, they reckon it's, another, it's going to be a ten-year war. Like another Vietnam or some shit? Yeah. Because no one's prepared to back down. I, and it's one of those awkward ones where, like, nobody can help because it'll escalate. Yes. Because isn't that one of the things that... There was some yank on the TV, was it Biden or whoever, saying, like, oh, we don't want escalation. And I'm like, well, naturally, but... I don't know. You, you guys, can, you can't just leave it alone. Unfortunately. Yeah, you, get, you guys want to act like you're Team America and yada yada, and you police <laughs> the whole world and shit. But then, actually, do something. You don't want to do it. No, I, they, I, they, I think they've solved their own energy crisis. I don't think they're as bad as we are. I so we we back, we bailed out of Europe and just generally fucked ourselves right royally over. Whether you're a nationalist or whatever, or like you can't even, can't deny that things have gotten financially worse for everybody. Fuck me, do you remember when apples used to be like less than a quid? <laughs> yes. And it's it's a disproportionate rate everything goes up at as well, that's pit that annoys me. But anyway, back to submarines fighting boats. Mm. The um so I the, the kind of the chat from them is that the boats were sort of no use. Um or not not no use, but were kind of irrelevant compared to the submarines in recent warfare. Right. As they were trying to make out like Oh, they're so amazing because we build submarines, mm. and in apparently warfare, the the boats are and th this is kind of true. Boats are vulnerable to drone attacks, okay. whereas submarines obviously aren't. Yeah. Um. Not it's not to say that subs are invulnerable. It's just that if you're fighting a war right now, mm -hmm. one of the big threats, um, is it's so cheap and easy to like just build a drone and fucking send it. Mm -hmm. You know, attack a boat with it, which is what these kind of nutters are about. So you could take down, you know, a half a billion. We get well, it's not even half a billion. It's one and a half billion pound warship, with, you know, depleted uranium dirty bomb tied to a drone that you bought for fifty quid off of Amazon. Whereas I was like that. See if you bought a load of sinkies, you know, that you get in the swimming pool. Uh huh. You could like take down a sub. Sinkies, what are? Sinkies, <laughs> sinkies, are those um things you take them in the swimming pool and like throw them in the water and they just sink to the bottom of the pool I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever seen them yeah, I've seen the opposite have. you know like balls that float and stuff no you must have seen sinkies you use them for like diving practice and stuff like that you dive down you pick them up and oh, okay. just drop them back in again maybe maybe you haven't but I, I would have said I'd be surprised if you'd never seen a sinky before um, but that's not even true so I mean unless unless you hit the subway a torpedo yeah f fair enough they're right the boat's much more vulnerable um, but uh, it's, I think a lot of that was let's like say just smack talk to make out like they were pure amazing mm. but it's not the point built these fucking boats to take out submarines but like I say, there's a reason why you get paid more money for building a submarine than you do for building a boat mm -hmm. Where are we going? We're going back in here, building dinosaurs. Oh, nice. Oh, do we ride them? That makes no oh. sense, but I like it. Fuck off. I want to ride a goddamn dinosaur. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Can I go up here? No? Okay. I guess we have to just take these dinosaurs over to the entrance. Rawr. Two grown ass men riding skeleton like dinosaurs, I guess. Why'd you jump off that penguin, you absolute stoter? What you all about? 
See, I get yours as a T-Rex, but the fuck's mine meant to be? Maybe a Velociraptor? I guess. Oh shit, I dropped my V. Come on. <laughs> See the Batman giant dinosaur? Oh, in the cave? Yeah, that's a robot, isn't it? I believe so, yes. I wondered who that belonged to. Uh, I don't recall. <laughs> I, th I want to say the Joker, but I don't think it actually was. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. But it's yeah, Batman, Batman's a big fan of dinosaurs. He was talking to Green Lantern one time, and Green Lantern said that. He was like, I didn't know you liked dinosaurs. He's like, of course I do. I've got one in the cave. You've seen it. And he was like, oh, yeah, right now. People were giving um, oh, Tom on. King nonsense. They were saying, like, because it was uh, Brian Bendis who wrote that, and it was like, oh, Bendis in one panel wrote a better Batman than you did in like a hundred issues, and I'm like, Tom King's stuff on Batman was flawed but interesting. Aye, right. can you push that again? Oh, I see what's going on here. No, no, yeah, turn the switch. Switchy switch on the right. Oh. I will say, the breakfast at the Holiday Inn in Barrow was exceptional. Only a couple of items, like, they only did... Um, they only did bacon, eggs, and you need hash browns. It. No, you need to jump over it. You can double jump. Oh, no, no, I can bring you through. Right. Ah, okay, I see. So I see. then two of us are here. Oh, you're right, I can jump. Ah, oh, you can't. You can jump over that. Wait. There we go. Smashy, smashy. Um, aye, man. Well, I said at the time, it's good to do a breakfast like that. Mm -hmm. It was a help yourself buffet style breakfast. Yeah. And just focus on like f four or five good items. Mm -hmm. Don't try and do a lot of stuff and do it badly. A, ah, exactly. Make a hurry. It. Um, it was really, really nice, man. Honestly. See, when I worked at um, Windows, it was like a restaurant. It was a restaurant, but it was like in a hotel, so it was mainly guests and crap that were in there. Uh -huh. um, uh, yeah, I got into it with some, well I didn't get into it, the manager had to go at me because some Yankee American douchebags were like just being rude as and um, they kept uh, asking for coffee which is totally cool right but they were like, they were just like coffee now and I was like who are you speaking to? Oh wow. Um, so I, I just, just like blind them and and then um, one of them said like thank you to me and I was kind of like sound and then as I'm walking away he like yells at me like I said thank you and I'm like what was his problem? What do you want mate? And then he goes and he pure moans at the... And it was like a new manager of the place and she hated me because she just hated everybody. Um, she was like, oh, you didn't see how that's totally unacceptable? I was like, what's totally unacceptable? She was like, you didn't see your welcome? I was like, oh, shut your hole. What? Shut your hole. Um, so I breakfast and me don't get along <laughs> when it comes to that type of thing. Because they were farters. They wanted, like, po I think it was poached eggs were the only thing you had to, like, order specifically. Penguin mom. I was trying, but it kept blowing up. Uh, I don't know. Must not have been getting it quite straight, or somebody was shooting it. I guess. Get on the go, everybody do it down. Nah, see, oh, you're right. There is. There's like a laser grid. There's some sort of laser. Ah, we can turn. Place. I think we can turn this. Oh, that's what it is. We can turn the whole room. Da -da 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 -da. The um, the chefy chef, the breakfast chef was a whopper as well. Why? He just was a creep. You know, it was, stuff, it was stuff like, because you had to take the trays down to like some rooms and things like that as well, and he'd put a tray down, and you'd go, thanks, and you'd take it, and he'd be like, oh, it's been sitting there for ages, I'm like, no, it isn't, I just saw you put it down, he was like, are you arguing with me? And I was like, well, aye, because you're wrong, and it was like, oh, I'm only, I'm only having a joke, and it was like, but like, nothing in his voice suggested it was a joke. Oh, he's not. <laughs> it was like the second time ever that I'd met him, and things like that, oh, no, there's one more. Aye, yeah, I know. No, and and a, he's sort of your superior in a lot of ways. Like when you're when you're waiting tables, it's kind of like what the chef says sort of goes. Aye. Why are you grabbing all the hearts? I need the hearts. Oh, You've got full health. So you do. See, and now I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. And dying has such dire consequences in this game. Uh, I was there was the last one. Is it? Yeah, uh, you have to climb up and swing over and do whatever. Uh, I I always hated working in that kind of industry anyway. For like you say, that weird hierarchy for a start with a chef. Yeah. He thinks he's your da. Did you work at, was it La Vita you worked at? I worked or? at La Vita. For how long? I don't know, two or three weeks maybe. Then I got a better job. Yeah. I was only there for four or five months I think. 
but I was at the Thistle for like a year before that, when I was at like art school and stuff. Um, the Thistle Hotel, so it was kind of the same thing, but it was more like big events and crap. So um, that was easy because everybody was just getting the same thing. So you would just grab your plates and and, and just march us through with. Ah, <laughs> you're serving rather than ah, like, ah you didn't need to go around and like take, take, take orders. You weren't expected to like talk to them and stuff like that. Because some guy complained about me because he was like, uh, it was him and his wife, and there was no one else in, and they were like, oh, there's no atmosphere in here. He just he just slapped the menus down in front of us and walked off, and I was like, no, nah, like no, nah, never. See, that's like. That's making out as if did I make all sorts of banter with him? No, but like him saying slap the menus down, that's as if I just threw it in his face and <laughs> like stoned it off. And I didn't. I was like, oh, there you are, that's how are you today? Oh, that's your thing, these are the specials, yada yada yada. Well, I'll just give you a few minutes, oh, cheers. Uh, you know, that was it. You and your wife have nothing left to say to each other, that's your problem, not mine. Yeah, exactly, you're not here to dance. <laughs> Yeah. You'll dance like a fucking monkey for their entertainment. Like, uh, exactly, what? get it. There's only one thing you're obliged to do, and that's just bring them the menus. Exactly. Bring them the menus and go, oh, special for today's soup. It was soup as well. So you want a show? Go to Spearmint Rhino. Which he probably went to afterwards and killed some strippers and whatever. Aye. Uh, farter. Farter, so he was. I will say I do like it when uh, I don't have to ask for the check. That's probably the only thing I would say when it comes to being in a restaurant. If I have to pure beg for the check. That's my pet hate. How do you mean? What you want them to just bring it? Ah, oh, like just bring me the check when we've done. You know what I mean? Uh, we've yeah. clearly finished. We've had our cup. Like we're not having any more desserts or coffees, whatever. Table's clear. Uh-huh. If you're sitting there for like four hours waiting on this card. Uh, some people probably think Come it's like, oh, they're just, they're just trying to get you out type of thing. And I'm like, I don't take it that way. I, I just, I find everything awkward because I don't know these people. I don't like making small talk. And I get that that's me, but I don't like making small talk. They're not my friend. I'm never going to see them again. I just want to be polite to them, give my stuff and I'll go. So like, I don't, when I need to ask for the check and stuff like that, I, I find it awkward. And then they never bring you the ki- the card machine straight away either. That's, that's what I was exactly. What I was going to so say. then you need to ask, oh, can I get can I get the card machine? And then they look, they get all pissy because they think they're not getting a tip. Because you're, you're not you getting a tip. Fucking. No, I'll give them a tip if I've got some some change or whatever. But like I, I I'm paying with card because I pay everything with card. I never have cash exactly. anymore. So excuse the hell out of me for trying to pay you and like yeah if, if I'm if I'm leaving a tip I will leave it in cash because some places if you tip electronically they distribute it to like sometimes the management just steals it and yeah. then other places they distribute exactly. it to like everybody Aye. which it's not fair is it uh, it's a little unfair if like Jimmy's doing a 40 hour working week and like you know half his tips are going to Billy who does 8 hours well it shouldn't be pro rata anyway it should be based on you know how good the service you actually delivered was well yeah that's, that's true but potentially how big your bosoms are that's a, that's a separate conversation but aye 